But it could be curtains for a historic movie theater in Chicago. It survived the pandemic, but never bounced back. CBS 2's Noel Brennan spoke to the owner who's running out of time to save the business. I take these down and put them up outside. There's a fine line between film buff, we're playing Creed 3, and movie obsessed. My wife stopped this, but I used to organize our Blu-rays and DVDs alphabetically by director. Aaron Lawson crossed over long ago. I get a little obsessive about the things I care about, so. He's manager of the new 400 theaters in Rogers Park. March is stacked. Arguably the oldest running movie theater in the city. I think maybe it didn't start really operating as a regular movie theater, maybe until like 1912. But this is like a cool, small, affordable neighborhood theater that I would love to see stick around. And it would be, yeah, I'd be, I'd be really sad if it didn't. But it's hard to keep going if the audience doesn't fill empty seats. Days are, are numbered here, for sure. Tony Fox owns the building and the business. Our business is about half of what it was before COVID. Now it's really, really struggling, probably going to lease uh, leaves the space out to another company. Soon, it may not be the same place that attracted generations of movie lovers. I had my, my first date with my wife here, and, uh, and it's, yeah, it's, if this place was to go away, it's really, it's, it's, it's a bummer. It's hard to picture empty seats suddenly full. And the crowds just start coming back tonight and tomorrow and next week, and then we'll stay open. I, I don't have any definite commitments one way or the other. Those who are movie obsessed. Sure, yeah. Hope for the Hollywood ending. We're hoping people just show up and keep us going. Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. The owner also told Noel he does not expect new owners to keep it as a movie theater. It could be a nightclub, bar, or daycare center.